YouTube, YouTube, what's going on, guys? Iggy MV5679 here. Uh, happy Sunday, to everyone. It's June 30th, 2019. Um, good morning. Um, let's try this again, man. I'm getting frustrated right now. This is literally the third time that I am going to try to make this video. Um, it's the third phone. I'm trying. I got to use the iPhone. Uh, I try not to use the iPhone when I, because for some reason I can't upload videos from my iPhone. It never works. Um, so I have to put it on a laptop to upload it when I make a video off the iPhone. But anyway, here we are. Neither here nor there. All right. Now, what I'm trying to do, okay, is speak on this marijuana scam, this legalizing pot across America, these weed dispensaries. I want to speak on that. Now, with that said, um, first and foremost, I want to tell everyone I'm speaking on my personal belief, in my opinion, and even some is off my personal experiences. Um, that is what I'm speaking on. I have no facts. These are not facts, uh, and I'm not putting no factual evidence behind it, besides a little bit of news reports from the stuff that I've been personally experienced with um, and people that I may know. Now, with that said... God, I hope this works this time. Lord, please. Okay. As I was reading this morning, I came across this little um, article. Illinois set to expunge nearly 800,000 marijuana convictions. Okay. Oh, man, dude. Okay. Just disappeared. <laughs> okay. Now, Illinois' J.B. Pritzker on Tuesday signed a bill making recreational marijuana legal in the state beginning next year. All right. Now, this will expunge convictions, marijuana convictions from people's records. This will also get people that are in jail for marijuana out of jail earlier this will reduce sentences okay which is good amen very good love it okay um residents will be allowed to possess up to 30 grams of cannabis flour 500 milligrams of thc and a cannabis infused product such as edible and five grams of cannabis concentrate okay um Illinois' focus on fairness and equity in legislation should be a model for other states. Okay, they kept calling it an equity uh, legislation. Um, and that's it. I'm not reading any more else um, besides approval of the cannabis regulation. Regulation and tax. This is this is what it's called. It's the uh, Cannabis Regulation and Taxation Act. It means Illinois joins eleven states in the District of Columbia in legalizing marijuana, and they're uh, the eleventh state. Okay, and that number eleventh in Jamatra would stick out. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't investigate it. I didn't put Jamatra to it, but that number eleven is usually a flat red flag that. So, it's something it's a little bit deeper okay but this is neither that's neither here nor there that's all i'm speaking on now what i'm speaking on is simply just the legalizing pot and like i said this is just my opinion guys and I'm, and I'm i'm telling you man i'm telling you it's an intuition it's just something that i have a deep feeling about um if you might guys remember on live stream the other night i told you about a kid i know that uh Played with his little third eye thing. Meditation. Okay. Talks to the sun. Does that meditating with the sun. And he smokes some medical marijuana. Now he said he would smoke weed off the street. And it would help him relax in the, his meditation level. Okay. He said when he tried it with medical marijuana. He ended up talking to the sun. Meditating. And then seeing demons. Okay. Uh, that kind of just made me start thinking about the stuff that I'm about to say right now. And I, 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 that's what I'm going to speak on first before I show you what I want to show you. Is that, I, guys, I just real quick video. This is, I just want to tell you, man, I don't think anyone should smoke 
<laughs> medical marijuana. Seriously, there's something to it. You got to think about it, man. Think about it. Ten years ago, they were throwing us in prison for life. You could get life for marijuana ten years ago. You could get life in prison. And back then, they still looked at it like it wasn't a big deal. You know what I mean? Probably because they were building up to this. But now everyone's jumping on board to legalize weed. And they want to sell it to you. Now, one, of course, it's a huge money maker. Huge money maker. They say, oh, well, all these dudes, all these drug dealers are selling weed. They did the same thing with methadone in the opioid crisis with methadone and suboxone. Okay? They, they, they're selling you methadone and suboxone, and it's okay for them to do it to you, right? It's okay for them to sell it to you. Now they're doing it with weed. And... In my opinion, I just think that something there's something to it, man. I don't think it's safe to smoke, and I don't recommend anyone to go smoke medical marijuana. If you smoke weed, man, listen, more power to you. I'm not here to judge you, bro. That's not my place to do. I'm not your judge. You got to understand that. I'm not, you know what I mean? I don't care what you guys do. As much as some people care about what I do and throw these accusations about drugs in my life and stuff because I'm open I'm open with my past and I tell everyone about my past. I mean, whatever. I take that criticism. I don't care, okay, about how I talk and whatnot, my voice being raspy. I don't listen, I don't care. That's what I'm telling you is I don't care what you do, man. I'll never judge you, I'll never turn I'll never turn my back on you and I'll never I'll never tell you, you ain't welcome around here on this channel and on these live streams. I never will. And if you're a pothead, listen, more power to you. All I'm telling you is don't smoke medical marijuana, man, because it's not what you think it is. There's something on it, man. And like I said, I have no facts to this. This is my opinion, but I'm telling you, there's something on it, dude. You, guys, you just got to think about this. If you smoke weed that you bought off the street, right, and you have to smoke a joint or a blunt of it to get high, right, and then you go smoke some medical marijuana, and one hit, two hits, gets you blasted. Bro, they're not grow. Listen, I know professional weed growers on the street that do it illegally. Right now, in my life, I don't know. In my past, I mean, I've known dudes that would rent houses out, and no one would live in it. They would rent a house, okay? They'd fi they'd fix up the lights all through the house. Electricity bill would be real high. Next thing you know, the house gets in the house gets raided. Trust me, I've been through all that shit. That weed is fire, okay? And that weed, people will say is good, good, good. And people still had to smoke a joint or a blunt to get high off it. And then we're talking about the best weed on the street. What do you think these labs are doing legally different? Just because they can grow it legally, what do you think they're doing different? All they're doing is not being bothered because they are the feds doing it. You know what I mean? They are the up hires doing it. If you get what I'm saying here, man. You know what I mean? They're not drug dealers renting houses on the streets and doing it. But trust me, these, I, 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 guarantee, I got subscribers that I tell you they know how to grow weed and, and professionally do it. When you just grow it out the ground, okay, it's basically it, it, how you grow it indoor is how good it's going to be, okay? But when it goes to a level of you smoke a joint to get high to smoke in one hit, no, no, no. That's on the level of K2, okay? So, like... Guys that smoke weed, right, when they go smoke K2, they get blasted, right? Now, listen, people that smoke K2, they smoke weed, they don't get high at all, all right? K2 is incense, bro, chemical sprayed on it. Now, all of a sudden, medical marijuana is getting people blasted in one hit. All of a sudden, now, this kid does a meditation with the sun and sees demons because he smoked medical marijuana. Maybe that DMT sprayed on it. Maybe, just maybe, or maybe they're spraying chemicals on that isn't good for your body, all right? And the fact that they're legalizing it is, come on, man. Yeah, it's a money maker, no doubt. There's something to it. And my best advice for anyone would be, don't smell medical marijuana, man. You know what I mean? If you do, if you do, I'm not telling you to go buy it off the street. I'm not telling you to illegally smoke it. I'm not saying do anything like that. Maybe don't smoke it at all. Maybe that's my best advice. Don't smoke it at all. But if you're going to smoke weed, don't smoke medical marijuana. There's something to it. I'm telling you. Now, here is the second part of the video of why I feel like this is funny. Now, listen. As you just seen Illinois, right? Just spe passed new marijuana laws to legalize marijuana. And they're going to let people out of jail. And they're going to expunge convictions off, mar off marijuana charges. Well... They did this in Pittsburgh years ago, okay? And a guy that is 
Okay, now when I say this dude's name, this is probably going to get triggered. And I'm telling you, the FBI is pr literally probably going to watch this video. So, I, just let that be known. So, understand the way I'm talking. I'm talk okay, I know a kid named Noah Lanfrat, alright? Just a friend, old friend. I have no idea where he is. I'm not associated with him at all anymore. I have no type of ties to him right now whatsoever. He's on the run from the feds, okay? The FBI is looking for him right now. Uh, why am I telling you this, okay? Well, I know him. He's, like I said, he's an old friend. Um, now, I'm going to show you this, too. In 2010, okay, when they changed all the weed laws in 2010, this dude had life in prison for weed, okay? Hold on. Drug dealer Noah Lamfried of Moon got life in federal prison in 2010 for shipping two and a half tons of Mexican pot to Pittsburgh. Alright. Now it's on this top one right here. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Alright, can you see it? Top one here. Boom. No land fried of moon. Okay? See that? Alright. Okay, that is when he got indicted by the feds, him and his brother, okay? They got life in prison, all right? Then they changed the marijuana laws, okay? You just seen that. That was in 2010 they got life in prison, all right? Then they changed the marijuana laws, all right? And they, he gets his sentence overturned, and they let him back on the street. Hey! Everyone's happy. We're all like, what's up, bro? Now, listen when I tell you this. This dude is a millionaire, okay? This kid is a millionaire. Pittsburgh kid. You know what I mean? Just just regular dude. This is literally someone who made millions of dollars off of selling this shit, all right? Now, oh, good. They let him out, right? Everyone's happy. New marijuana laws are changed. They Now they legalize weed and PA. In Pittsburgh, you can go get a little medical uh, marijuana license. You can go to the dispensary and buy weed now. They split your wig. Yeah, I mean, they're cracking heads at these dispensaries. I'm talking you, four, 20 a gram, 60 a eighth. They're cracking heads in them things. It's cheaper on the street, bro. Now, which I just think it should be... It should be vice versa. You know what I mean? Now, they let him out. Now, peep what happens. 20... My, my computer's slow. Give me a second here. This is just a couple months ago, guys. I spoke on this a couple months ago when it, when this happened, okay? I just want to show you how much... Oh, yeah. You know. They let him out of jail. They changed him in water. Code. Look, all these conviction laws they're changing, I just want to tell you guys... They don't care none of nothing about you, cause look what they did to Noah. All right, and I get it. It's a drug dealer. I get it. Listen, man, they got an agenda, man. Twenty-seven indicted on federal drug and money laundering crimes. Twenty-seven indicted. Okay. Friday, January eleventh, twenty nineteen, eight thirty-one p.m. Twenty-seven indicted on federal drug and money laundering crimes. And guess who the main culprit is? Guess who the guess who is the kingpin in this investigation? Yeah, you're right. Noah Lanfried. That's who. Okay, same dude they let out of jail. A federal grand jury in a federal federal <laughs> a federal grand jury in Pittsburgh has indicted 27 people in U.S. District Court on multiple counts of drug possession with intent to distribute heroin, cocaine, fentanyl, and other crimes. Da 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 da. Okay, right here is where I want to skip down to. One of the defendant. Wow, I hate this computer, man. Sorry, I shouldn't hate. One of the defendants is Noah Lanfried of Moon Township. He and his brother, Ross Lanfried, Ross Lanfried III, also of Moon and among recently indicted, were sentenced by federal judge in Illinois in 2010 for leading a marijuana ring from Mexico to Pittsburgh. Noah Lanfry was to serve life in prison and Lanfry the third 20 years. Okay, the Lanfry had set up a ring that hired couriers to transport 200 pound loads of marijuana 
da 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 And then it just gives a name. It gives a big long list of everyone they put in this indictment, okay? Um, okay, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Fed say they cracked prison drug network, okay? Drug soaked paper distributed to inmates. Remember, remember, we got now you guys remember me telling you about this. This was all about the K2 getting sent in Pennsylvania prison. Drug drug dealer Noah Lanfout of Moon got life in federal prison in 2010 for shipping two and a half tons of Mexican pot to Pittsburgh with his brother Ross. All right, now that's the dude I'm talking about. Now, guys, do you, do you, do you see what I'm showing you? He just got indicted January of 2019. And it just said he got life in 2010. See what I'm saying? They let him out. I'm just making sure you understand what I'm saying. Drug dealer Noah Lanfried of Moon got life in prison 2010. Okay. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. Here. Yeah. Well. Okay. So you see? Do you see what I'm saying here? They let people out. They overturn them. They don't care nothing about you. Okay. Basically, they're watching you. Just letting you. They basically. Listen, man, it, it's a deep dude. I don't even want to speak on it. Uh, he, he's supposed to be. He's still on the run from the feds right now. He's on. He's on a fugitive uh, most wanted list in Pennsylvania. So U.S. Marshals most wanted list. I meant to say. Uh, I really ain't speaking on him no more. I, I just wanted to get, give an example of when they changed the marijuana laws in PA. They let these dudes out of jail. I mean, they don't care about them. They didn't. They didn't give them business licenses and all this bullshit. This Illinois thing saying they didn't give them set them up for programs and stuff. They didn't do none of that. All they're doing is their marijuana scam agenda. That's what they're doing. They're legalizing pot. They're trying to get people to buy it off of them, okay? Because I guess they can't stop it coming in. I don't know. You know what I mean? They, I'm sure they could if they want to, but I don't know. That's why it doesn't make sense. Pushing weed the way they're pushing it. I just have a funny feeling about it, guys, and my best recommendation is don't smoke medical marijuana if you do smoke weed. Um, I'm going to say to you, and I'm getting ready to... Uh, I'm going to stop this 17 minutes now. Uh, i got a couple more videos to put up. Um, if you could comment, Give me a comment what you guys think about this. Smash that like if you could. Um, if you guys want to do another NA meeting this more, this afternoon, let me know. Um, and let's get it, guys. Much love. Iggy MB5679. Get true to that line.